making pills. Pina colada. No, I'm getting my oh, electrolytes, man. Right there, huh? Getting my electrolytes going on. Feel like you need them this morning? Well, I need them every day. But especially this morning. Are you filming? Yes, Are you I'm filming me? You, yeah. Oh, oh no. See, every time you do that, I boo boo. <laughs> Put the lid on, Harry, before I um, yeah, it shake it, you guys. Sorry. It helps. Uh, okay. Okay, dokie, dokie. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing? Welcome, everybody, and welcome all you new folks to Loving It on Keto. Um, yeah, I tend to make messes, and I just made one now. I'm getting some electrolytes on. Hey, you guys, how's everybody doing? It is um, cool outside. It's cool enough to open up the windows and the doors. It's a little humid because it rained yesterday a little bit, just enough to make it humid, but cooler. We're getting our cooler fall weather now, you guys. I'm so excited. It's nice. I it's really nice am. Right it's now, beautiful. Man. Um, you guys, today is the second to the last day of our September Hard Push for Weight Loss Challenge. It's a no dairy day. It's a protein sparing modified fast day. High protein and eat a maximum of 10 grams of carbs, a maximum of 30 grams of fat, and take a walk. Yes, indeed. Here, it caught me at my clumsy moment. Caught me at my clumsy moment. Anyway, you guys. Yesterday, our work provides free lunches Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays due to the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus and the fact they closed our cafe. Our company felt that they could provide that for both uh, facilities that we have here, and which is really, really nice. Usually, it's some kind of a sub or a sandwich, salad, um, or both, and uh, it comes with like a cookie and a roll. Uh, typical lunch fare and we had it from Dickie's barbecue yesterday and I always give away my cookie I always give away my chips I rotate them within our team and they love me for it and then I deconstruct the sandwich well it was brisket and it was a, a good amount it was six ounce it was this huge sandwich and I took all that and made my own on my own bread long story short my ankles, my legs were so swollen. I had on soft socks and I had ripples where the socks went down around my ankle and then around yeah, the top of that. my ankle was swollen. I mean, I haven't done that in years. Yeah, 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 Not since I had either. leg issues and was on a walker and a cane, Harry. Yeah. I mean, I was, yeah, it was salty to the taste. And I knew there was salt in it, but I didn't realize how much bad salt there was until I saw my feet after I took my shoes and socks off yesterday. So remember, everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two, day pri two days prior, can be the hidden ingredients. It can be the seasonings for sure, the salt for sure. You know, if, if uh, for me, that's what happened. And um, lack of sleep. I went... I came home, we filmed, I got uh, a quick shower, and I went to bed, you guys. You went to bed at 8.30. I went to bed at 8, 8.30. Yeah. Yeah. I was tired, and I fell asleep and hit it hard and heavy. I feel better today, but um, the water weight is there. So with that, I just want to share uh, with everybody what we had to eat yesterday because it was perfectly keto protein spraying modified bread six ounces of dickie's brisket i had two teaspoons of my avocado mayo on it i had an egg bite we had chocolate peanut butter keto chow ice cream for dinner and i had collagen we're out of our creamer right now it's on the way though nine percent carbs for a total of 15 grams 66 percent fat for a total of 48 grams 25% protein for a total of 40 grams, and I had 1,297 calories yesterday, you guys. Harry had protein sparing modified fast a bread. He had two of the bacons that we had left. He had two turkey sausages. He had a large egg bite that I made, my sous vide. Chocolate peanut butter keto chow ice cream. 
for dinner and collagen. Harry had 7% carbs for a total of 17 grams, 35% fat for a total of 37 grams. He had 55, is that a five or an eight? I think that, bad Wendy, I can't read your own writing. I would say that that's a five. 58 percent protein for a total of 137 grams total calories 980 you need to get your calories up perry all you gotta do is figure out because it should always come out to 100 percent oh 21 and 6 well it's, i don't know what it is anyway you guys <laughs> i can't do the math at uh 6 20 in the morning okay i went up eight tenths i know why yeah Harry is down two tenths. He's hovering. He's hovering around this. Yeah, you guys. Know, he's pretty much at goal, and you're going to go above and below a couple of pounds. You really are. He, I took pictures of him yesterday. Um, he he got another jean jacket, and it's a size medium that we got, and it fits him perfectly. And you guys, I am amazed at how thin he looks. Yeah, it's probably in his weird. jacket and, it and it's slacks. weird because the the, the uh, scale doesn't really reflect it. Let's go to the big board. Let's now, go to the I big haven't had a chance to ride it yet. Well, whole place. Uh, Harry will fix the big board. Hey, Harry, how's it going? Yeah. May the forest be with you too, honey. Oh, is that what I got on deck? Yes. We got that on the way to Bryce Canyon at the um, Interpretive Center, right? Yep. God, my beard grows so fast. I was almost like I was shaving off a beard this morning. It was so like, these things, they were like almost like, almost over a quarter of an inch long. I mean, really fat. Okay, anyways. Um, Where are we today? Right here. In the home stretch. Right. I'm fighting to get down, you know? Um, but, but I'm not, I guess I'm not trying that hard because I reached that goal. I think I could go do, do better. Yeah. Uh, I could do better, but I seem to be like, kind of coasting a little bit right now. It's almost like, in my mind, I'm on maintenance, but I want to go down. Yeah, but stand up straight because your stomach has gone down all of a sudden. Yeah, I know. Well, that, I, that's the weird it thing Turn sideways. It. Let me see. The, uh, that's weird yeah. because the uh, scale doesn't really show you, but wow, we put that, I put that jacket on. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, because, me too. I mean, I looked at Jack and said, I'm not going to wear that. You said that said it's too, going to be too small. No, uh, so it's going to be way too small. So, and it was perfect. I mean, it came perfect to my arm size. It was perfect around my, it was weird. Right around here, it was perfect. Like, man, that's weird. I haven't had, wore that size in I don't know how long. I don't think you were a medium when we met. Maybe you were. Yeah, I was. No, were you? Yeah. You were working for the phone company, though, and your biceps were really big because oh, yeah. you were cl cr crunching yeah. cable all day. All day long. Here you yeah. go. Okay. I, really, there's not much to talk because... My, my, uh, your calories are 1297, and that's because of the Dickies, I'm sure, and that other stuff. Well, it's been, my, my calories have been higher this week because I'm trying to stay closer, you know, and I was hungry the day before, so I had, yeah, Dickies, and, I yeah. Get, but I've noticed that I lose weight better when I get around 12. Yeah. And, and, and when my, uh, protein is about 160. Well, that would make sense because you need to now here. Whereas before it was a little different. Now I'm noticing there's a change happening here. Yeah. Okay. Well, because you're at your goal weight, you should be eating about 165 grams. You should be eating one gram of protein per your uh, body weight. So when you finally, you know, reach your goal. Yeah. So one thing I was thinking about, if you always ate the white table salt, the iodized white table salt in the blue can, you will lose weight. You will continue to lose weight if you never change your salt because there are people out there that I see all the time and that's what they eat and they're keto. It's when you get off of that salt and you have real whole salt from Mother Earth such as Redmond Real Salt, Himalayan Peak Salt. Sea salt, Harry and I have been seeing, we saw a history channel about the nanoplastics in every single particle of ocean water now. And, and so we kind of steering away from it because we don't know who's processing it and if it's from the ocean or if it's from a um, 
a mine. But what I want to say is, so I have been away from that kind of salt and it does make me retain water big time, makes Harry retain water. Usually when we go out to restaurants, the big factor is the oil that they cook in, Yep. which is a canola or a soy sure, always. oil and the white table salt. And we know that it is um, water weight, but my ankles were uncomfortable because of it yesterday. Anyway, you guys, hope everybody's doing really good. You guys, Harry is gonna go load up the October Scare the Weight Off October Challenge and the October Do's and Don'ts. Kim Hapler should have it and she should have uploaded it to our Facebook group which is uh, Loving It on Keto with Wendy fans. And if you guys can't for some reason find those, you know, you can find the link to our website in the description below. Um, go check out the store that Harry's got up there with our favorite things, all the things that we use um, that will link you right to Amazon for those. And you can email me at lovingitonketo at gmail.com and request a copy and I will gladly send it to you via email so you can print that out. So you've got plenty of ways to do it. You can even take a picture of uh, the um, spreadsheet or calendar, I guess it's a calendar. I, I made, it was an Excel spreadsheet when I did it, but I populated it to a calendar um, from our website so that you have that on your phone so you don't forget like I do on occasion. <laughs> Ah, because I'm one day ahead of everybody. Anyway, you guys, we will share our full day of eating today. You guys didn't get to see that yesterday. And we um, will share everything that we have to eat. Right, Harry? Yep. Okay, you guys, but I've got to go to work now. So I will see everybody in the next segment. Goodbye. Hey you guys, I am at work and I have got one of my large egg bites. It is um, mostly egg whites. I think this one was eight egg whites and two egg yolks to the whole batch. I have got ground chicken with some of my keto chow gravy on it. I brought some carnivore crisps for snack time if I want some. And I've got my electrolytes in my container i have leftover pop in the refrigerator so i don't need any anyway you guys i'm gonna put this away and i'm gonna go downstairs and get a big old cup of coffee i think i'm gonna make up a, a pumpkin i'm gonna use um let me see what am i gonna do here i think i'm gonna make salted caramel i think i'm gonna have this is vanilla yes vanilla and then I'm going to use some sweet pumpkin spice drops and a little bit of cinnamon. You guys, my cabinet has all kinds of stuff in it. But there's my cup. Anyway, you guys, I am going to put my stuff in the refrigerator. And then I'm going to go downstairs and get my coffee on. Yes, indeed. Well, I've got my vanilla collagen, a little bit of MCT oil, the salted caramel, got a little splash of cinnamon, and some pumpkin spice drops in here, you guys. I have no creamer. My Ketu creamer is on the way, but I have nothing to put in here. But it'll taste delicious. I put about a third of a scoop of collagen and a third of a scoop of the MCT oil powder. And look at the nice golden color you get, you guys. See, there it is. And then that cinnamon, mm, man, does that smell good. Yes, it does. Okay, you guys, I've got my coffee. And man, does it smell good today. That cinnamon floats on top. Ah, oh, man, oh, so good, so good. You guys, I'm, I'm very, I feel very, hung, my body feels like it's hung over. I don't know why, but 
It just is. Ah, oh, man. That's good. That's a great cup of coffee. Anyway, you guys, I've got a lot of emails to get caught up on. I can't believe I'm going to a 50th year reunion with my high school on Friday. Boy, does that make me feel old. Whew. Anyway, I know I'm going to be mentally the youngest person in there, but other than that, it'll be exciting to see some of the people. Hope to goodness that they put our real name, our original maiden names on our name tags so I can figure out who people are. Between that and face masks, who's going to know who anybody is? <laughs> hate you guys. That's funny. A room full of people we grew up with and nobody knows who you are unless you start talking. Or unless you read a name tag. <laughs> because <laughs> ah, that's a long time to be out of high school. That's a long time. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee. And then you guys, oh, oh, I know, I know. My Fitbit got charged finally. I want to share with you guys, um, this Fitbit has a horrible charger. Well, they've made a stand with the charger built on it. And it, it actually works. So instead of spending, you know, $150 to $200 or more on a Fitbit watch that's perfectly good, I got an $11 little stand to charge my watch on. I'll share that with you guys when I get home tonight, if I remember. I'll remember. I think I'll remember. Anyway, you guys, got to have my coffee now. Okay, hey. Hey everybody, um, thought I'd pop in for just a moment because, as we all know, they I've been working on the on the on the on the basically the web store website, whatever you want to call it, and uh, I, there's a link down at the bottom um, in the description area that will take you to this, and I decided to set this up, you know, because let's face it, it it's sort of a site for all of us, right, and. Uh, um, I, if you notice, I put pet of the week on there on the beginning, and it's funny that I would bring that up first over the entire site. But I don't know about the rest of you. A lot of us, our pets are like really important to us, and I thought it would be kind of nice or neat to be able to show, you know, everybody's pet. You know, it's kind of cool. You know, so I thought I'd do like a pet of the week. I started off the very first one is uh, Cleo, and its its owner is. Uh, Eileen Vogel, and, and uh, I wanted to get that up there so to, so you guys could see. I'm going to be putting one up every week. So if you have a pet and you would like to try to get it up here on the site for you know, that would be great. Send us send us pictures of your pets. Our pets mean a lot to us, and it's like really important. You know, um, as for the rest of it, you'll see the little the little button down to the in the green area, and what that's basically for is like if you guys. Uh, can think of something that you would like to have on the site because it's like I said it's for all of us right um, uh, push that little button right there and tell us what it is you look for all I need is a title of the product that's all I really need and if you want to put your pet up push the same button and send a picture over to me um, that'll take you right automatic that'll take you right over to uh, the loving in on keto uh, gmail.com so you don't have to Dig around for it. You just push the button and go. Um, I decided to split the uh, the website up, like in clothing, food, you know, shoes, you know, all the way down the line. And the reason for that because if I put too many things on one page, it takes a long time for it to load. So I decided I would break it up. So you might see me breaking this up even more as time goes on. But you would go down to the um, to the the site menu and right now there's as I'm filming this there's only four items and it's food clothing kitchenware and shoes at the moment and of course it's gonna it's gonna get I'm gonna build it more put more stuff there to make it like a lot easier to go find it everything in here is basically what you've seen on this on 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 our on our little videos and I, most of the stuff that we've put under are things that people have asked where they can find them and that's where we usually put them other things like the masks and stuff like that, um, 
I decided to put up there because it's going to be Halloween anyway, so why not get a mask that, for Halloween, right? Or uh, like, Dis like or if you're going to go like us, we're going to go to Disneyland, so we're going to wear the stuff. And the, uh, we have some things on there inside that uh, one area that is uh, pretty much all the masks. And if you go to that, you can see all the different kinds of masks and stuff that I put up there so you guys can choose. And these are the ones that we've actually bought, by the way. We've bought every one of these. So like the Captain Hook one is going to go with my Captain Hook shirt. You know, the the uh, little Yoda baby one that I'm going to wear is going to go with the Yoda shirt. Uh, you know, I mean with the uh, Mandalorian shirt. You know, stuff like that. And we've kind of done all that. And, uh, of course, the there's the other... You can get out just by clicking on go back to main menu and that'll take you back to the main page and then you can go to other other stuff now the kitchenware is pretty much everything everybody has asked us for so I went ahead and put it up there so if you that way if you're watching one of the shows and we've used it and you go, oh what is that I want to go find out you can go right over to the, to the site and find it and there it is right should answer all your questions about it and uh as we go on, I'll be probably coming back and talking about it a little more, but I thought this would be a great way to introduce the site to everybody because, um, let's face it, it's, it's part of the channel, and this way we can communicate with you guys better and you're able to see things better. And we do make, a, we do make a, not a whole lot off of this, okay? Uh, you make a little bit of money, and that'll help support the channel and uh, uh, which is very important probably be enough to pay for the site and a little extra maybe to buy some more gear or whatever whatever it takes something like that but that's you know it's not a whole lot of money and it doesn't you guys don't pay for it it's just um, what it is Amazon gives us a little bit of what they make off of it it does they don't raise the prices or anything like that um, so that's it would be a great help to us if you guys could go on there and use it. That'd be fabulous. It would help us out quite a bit. Um, I have a real problem about you know asking for money, uh, so I I don't I'm trying to keep from I don't want to do that. So I've tried to find other ways to go about doing it to where we all make out, and that's what's really important to me. I want us all to make out. I want us all to, you know, get what you need easy. We get a few pennies out of the deal. And it really helps everything out. Now, if you come up, like I said earlier, if you come up with things that you want me to put on here, let me know. Uh, if you got some ideas for the site, let me know. Um, it's just like when I shoot when I films, I try to listen to everybody. I even listen to the door guy. If you got an idea, I'll listen to it. So, because <clears throat> it's it's this is collaborative. This is a collaborative effort to try to get what we want out of it we get to mold this so and uh, that's just so important so what I did is I kind of threw it up here and thought well okay from here on out uh, I'm kind of guy I'm gonna just kind of continue on with what I'm doing and if you guys have a pretty good idea let's try it out right so anyway that's about it I just wanted to introduce it to you and uh, that's really about it for now uh, I'll just keep on chugging along with this, and we'll see what happens, okay? I have an egg bite that's got my spices. It's got like a pepperonis in this one, but it is the eight egg whites to two yolks, and I did a full ten cup. Ten, ten of these is what I filled. So two batches, two batches of five each fit in my sous vide pan. So I did two different ones and that one's got um, little dried uh, chives and some parsley, onion, salt, pepper, garlic, and deliciousness. And I heated this one up in the microwave and it heated up really, really well. And I've got some of my coffee left, so I'm gonna sit back and enjoy my delicious sous vide egg bite. 
You guys, it's absolutely amazingly beautiful outside. I would say it's in the 70s. It's clear, it's bright, and it is just beautiful. Man, it's a beautiful fall day. Sorry, my hair's a mess, but man, isn't it pretty? The fountain's all pretty. Oh. You guys, get up and take a walk, move your body. Get out while the weather is still good, if it is. Hopefully it's pretty where you're at and you can get outside and enjoy this lovely fall weather that we're having. Yeah, I'm so excited for that. Love it. Harry gets to get up and start moving his body too. We gotta get that back room. I'm telling you, it is a clutter room. Harry, all his camera equipment, all that stuff gets put in, gets uh, moved about. And I'm gonna stay outside in the nice weather. I'm not supposed to get my eyebrows in the sun. For those of you who are new, I had microblading done to them. It's been, today is the eighth day. They're starting to peel and all that good stuff, but it's not hot enough. I don't feel it frying on my head. It's early, so I'm just taking a chance and walking while it's still cool and beautiful outside. So, anyway, you guys have to watch where I'm going because it's hilly and the courtyard has ups and downs and little rocks and things that I could trip on if I'm talking and walking at the same time because I'm not very good at that either. Anyway, you guys. See everybody in the next segment. Time for lunch. I'm ready. I am so ready today. So you know what I'm having? <sighs> I'm having this turkey meat, man. A... Wendy made this the other night. Oh, she put really good spices on this, man. I mean, this is so Good, oh my gosh. It's like gosh. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna have like, I want like, I'm kind of hungry, so I think I'm gonna have like eight ounces of this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry today, so I'll, I'm gonna heat this up. Gonna need a plate. Yeah. So, eight ounces. Come a little over there, overboard. That's good. All right, now. Into the microwave, it must go. Yeah, yeah. Shield of protection. Yeah. Against the wife. She gets really upset if there's junk in there. All right, what do you think? 45 seconds? Yeah, let's do 45 seconds. Okay, be right back. All right, there it is. A little hot. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it is, smells so good. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do. I don't even think I'm gonna put anything on this. Tell you the truth, because it's so good the way it is. Okay, so, since I'm not putting anything on it, and I'm gonna eat it straight away, just the way it is right now, what should I have with it? Hmm. Yeah, that's it, man. I'm having one of these. I, you know what these are, right? This, this is the Stevia Creamy Root Beer. Yeah, I love this. Oh, I like this so much. This is probably, well, it's not my favorite. My favorite is the regular old standard root beer that they make. 
But I really like this one. If you guys have it, try this one. Try this one out. It's pretty good. I don't have any association with these guys. Should. Should talk about them enough. All right. Well, I'm going to go eat my lunch. And I hope you guys are eating your lunch. And if you notice, it's all meat. Mmm. Hope that's okay. Anyways, I'm going to go eat. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great lunch. If you haven't ate yet, that is. Okay, bye. Okay, you guys, here's my lunch. This is uh, turkey with some gravy, some mustard. I've got a root beer, ginger root beer zevia, you guys. So that is what my lunch is. And I will enjoy every bite of it because it smells absolutely amazing. Yes, indeed. Hey everyone, I am back from work and my sister and mom are coming over. And Lori, they're, they're buying a rotisserie chicken and a bag mm -hmm. of salad. So we are having chicken and salad and we want to watch a movie and just have a really nice family time. I picked my sister up at the airport <sighs> very late, like 1130 and it's the Mesa okay, airport, yeah. which is an hour away. Her plane was delayed from Idaho. So Harry and I didn't even get to bed until after one. I didn't fall. I, last time I looked at the clock, it was like 2 a.m. Anyway, you guys, and last night I went to bed early because I was extremely exhausted from all of that. But I don't think we'll be uh, filming what we're eating because we have to get her and my mom in the other room and get TV trays and all the good things set up in front of the TV. So I think we are going to close out for the day. But you guys, tomorrow is the last, very last day of the... Uh, September heart push for weight loss challenge before the holidays. It's a 16 hour fast or eight hour eating window. Eat your regular keto foods, use your macros and move your body everyone. Hey you guys, um, while I go to my high school reunion with my sister on Friday, Friday and Saturday and we'll be traveling home Sunday. Harry and I have filmed some stuff ahead of time for everybody so please stay tuned those days because we are not going to be on a blackout. We've got stuff already planned and you guys, I oh, think I'm, you guys I'm gonna, are going to like. I'm, I'm going to be here and I'll be doing like a coffee thing and I'll be yeah, doing Yeah, Harry will be doing, He's a, he and Sally are holding down the Because I'm not floor. going. Nope, this is a girls road trip. Yep. So anyway you guys because of limited capacity and the high school reunion is was my sister's 50th year i'm two years behind her and now it's her 51st year my 49th year and they've invited anybody who wants to come kind of a thing because they keep canceling it due to the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus and of course you have to have you know the the thing and you gotta have the thing so Anyway, we're going to have fun. We're going to check out the old neighborhood. We're going to have pictures of where I grew up. And we're going to just check out the town. We're um, meeting with one of our very old, old friends who, who still has horses. She bought Smudge. If you guys watched my sister, our trip to Idaho, um, one of the little fillies that I painted, she's a Gorilla Buckskin for anybody who knows anything about horses. She named her Smudge. And we're going to go um, have dinner with Pam on Friday night. Our whole family, we had a whole row of horses at B&B Stables. We, my mom had a horse, my dad had a horse, my sister had a horse, all, my, both my sisters had horses. I had a horse. Um, I could ride any of the horses that the owners had and I used to show their Arabs. So um, it was really fun times. So it's going to be fun to yeah, see was, some uh, of the it people. it was something else. It was. It was really fun. So it's, and the, they're still, the owners are still alive. They're in their, like, just turned 90. So I'm really excited to go see all of them. I'm excited to see everybody at my school reunion. The hard part, you guys, there's going to be so many of us wearing glasses. And when you look through the mask, you know, unless they, I hope to goodness, they put our maiden name, our, 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 maybe our school picture would be nice, right? When you get to 49 and, and 50 and 51 year reunion, um, people change. That's all I'm saying, okay? People change. Except bell bottoms are back in. So, you know, if I wear the hip hugger bell bottom clothes huh. that I used to wear huh. back then, right? 
Well, anyway, you guys, I'm excited. Yeah, but about you that. even had a macrame uh, bathing suit. I had a macrame bathing suit, bikini, uh-huh. string bikini, macrame. Yeah, yeah. Those were the days. Yeah. yeah, I weighed 123 pounds back then in high school. You guys, I know, I know, and I was not, I was not skinny. I hired the shape. Yes, indeed. Huge difference from 67 to 18. That's oh, yeah, all I'm man. saying. Anyway, you guys, I'm very excited the about that. The sands have shifted. I've got to get the dishes out. I've got to get the TV trays put up. We've got to decide what movie we are uh, watching because they're going to be here in just a few minutes. So, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell. Give us a thumbs up, you guys. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Speaking of which, I need to take something out for tomorrow. We forgot. I need to clean my refrigerator and redesign where it's at. That's all I'm saying.